Paranormal. The Unexplained. The Unknown. Welcome to Things Mysterious. I am your host, Rudy on the Go. And today I bring you the three most demonic videos ever encountered. Let's get this started. Hello, I'm Lisa from Michigan. I'm watching Things Mysterious with Rudy on the Go. Our next channel is about a well-known couple that have shared their life on social media for the past two years. I'm talking about none other than Lainey and Ben. Their first paranormal post was on May of 2020, and it featured Lainey, who was at home on her own, and there was a cupboard in her bedroom that kept opening by itself. Okay, so... Just briefly, um, this is a mess, but it, this is my bedroom. And I've just been sat here just scrolling briefly. Now, every now and then, and you can see where it hits. <gasps> oh my God, it's just happened again. This thing, look, let me just show you. There's nothing pulling that open. Every now and then I'll come upstairs and this is what's happening. Well, every now and then I'll come upstairs and this thing's open. I always shut it again. It's just a storage cupboard on my floor. Okay, I'm free. Oh my God, it's just happened again. Okay, let me shut that again. Let me just show you. There's no, there's nothing tied here. I can show you it all. That's the inside of the cupboard. I just store boots and stuff for winter. Right, that won't shut anymore. Like I said, the activity was quiet in the beginning, but if you've kept up with them like I have, then you know that things have changed. From then onwards, it was a steady stream of paranormal activity, week by week, month by month. The activity progressed. Right, it's Sunday morning. Hang on, I need to calm down. Well, so do I. I thought we were being burgled. So did I. It's worse. <laughs> I'd um, rather be burgled. Me too. Uh, Sunday morning, we were just chilling out upstairs in bed and we just heard loads of noise. Oh, look, there's a fork on the floor. Oh, no, look at the state of the place. Um, and this is what we've come down to. The cupboard's in an absolute fucking <laughs> shit state. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just gonna. Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god! Fuck off! <gasps> Better not get out of here. <laughs> So that post was uploaded in June 2020, three months after they first announced that their house was haunted. Basically, the more communication and acknowledgement they fed it, the stronger the entity got. That Sunday morning, they heard a loud crash and came downstairs to see their cupboard contents thrown all over the floor. And this was the first time that they witnessed firsthand the furniture moving off the community believed them that their house was indeed haunted. But the other half thought it was fake. But soon, these allegations would put them to rest. I've always said from the beginning, never communicate with the paranormal, never talk to it, or never ask them to make a noise or move objects, and never acknowledge it. Because once you start talking to the entity, and once it knows that you can see it, it will hound you. It says, does it feel like a good or a bad spirit? And what energy does it give off? I think if there's no threat. So. Nah, like it's never touched us or hurt us. Like, so I don't think there's anything bad about it. I think if anything, it might be like a relative because like it's not harmful to us. No. So it's not like bad in that kind of way. Did you, did you just see that? Just see what? The cupboard door just opened. <laughs> Right. Let's watch this back. Ben and Lainey acknowledged their haunting in a big way, 
even naming their ghost. And its name was David. And from that moment onwards, the paranormal activity in Ben and Lainey's house and life amped it up. You gonna speak or not? Shall yeah. I do it? All right. That door was like, it was shut, but not on the latch and it's just opened. So, um, yeah. Like, now you, now you've got But I got a, a load of grief in the comments because I sent you <laughs> to go and deal with the, this cupboard door. And now that door's triggered, so, and I'm not, I'm not down for that. <laughs> what in the fuck? That's just scared the shit out of me. What the fuck? People are going to say that there's something attached to that. Look under the fucking table as well, showing the snow fucker in it. <laughs> I'm not down for that. That's a dishwasher under the, well, you know, unit, washing machine. Where could somebody be hiding? Oh, that was okay. me. Oh God, you can't even see up there. Someone will still come up with. Now, I can't show you every paranormal post from Laney and Ben because we'll be here all week. But what I'm going to do is show you how it progresses every month until we arrive at the present day. Okay. Um, we're in the middle of family quiz night and we just heard a massive, like... Thud? Th like, load of noise anyway, upstairs, so... <laughs> you know, this is a serious time. What the fuck? Really? Put some lights on, Ben. How could that have fallen over? Is it broken? I don't know, but... Wait, how's that over? Yeah, this is on a tripod and that's... There's no way that would have moved, but... Well, that was actually, like, tucked right out the way. Oh, thank God it's not broken. Well, that's all right, but more to the point... <laughs> hey! How did it fall? I mean, it could have been the wind, but that doesn't explain how the tripod fell. Because the tripod... They named the poltergeist David, and it seemed that they preferred leaning over Ben. At first it was a little bit of a gimmick, something to record for their channel, but later it was anything but fun. Objects were now being moved and broken. Not just light objects, but as the hunting progressed, so did the strength of the ghost. Moving large, heavy objects. Are you seeing this? Get your camera. Alright, sorry. Looks like we're gonna be here for a while. Can you do it again? Oh my god. Turn the light on, please. Turn it on. Oh. <laughs> they ain't going off separately? Yeah, they are. Okay, that'll do, thanks. The light switch is over, over there. Yeah. This is actually absolutely bonkers, like... <gasps> I just need to talk to something. <laughs> um, I'm freaking out a little bit. So, I've been lay here having a nap because Ben's at work. That's not why I had a nap, but Ben's at work. And... I was woken up to like, like a <laughs> sound right in my ear, really loud, and <sighs> don't know what it is. The fuck. Feeling that is one thing, but feeling and seeing it move is something else altogether. And for the first time ever, there was fear in Lainey's face. And then the couple took things to a whole nother level. They started using the Ouija board to ask questions and to communicate. They wanted to know the age of the ghost and how he died and how many spirits were in their home. Turns out that the most dominant spirit in the house was a spirit called David, who died on the land that the house was built on when he was 61 years old. Slowly by slowly, day by day, the entity started taking an interest in Laney. A few days later, after using the Ouija board, the energy in the house started to change. Laney was woken up from a deep sleep at 12 past 12 midnight 
and got the feeling that something was wrong. She hears a metallic click from the bottom of the stairs. It was the sound of the door opening. And then, to Lainey's horror, she heard the sounds of footsteps coming up the stairs toward her. I counted seven to eight footsteps. Watch the first part of the video and let me know on the comments if I'm right. During these hauntings, it's common for the homeowner to smell things that are unfamiliar to them, like perfume or aftershave. Sometimes even the smell of tobacco has been documented in some of these cases. But every now and then, a homeowner or an investigator will come across another type of smell. One that is not common, but one that is very troubling than any other. Some describe it like rotten meat, others like rotten eggs. I smelled this before, and for me, it's reminiscent of gunpowder or the smell of a firework after it goes out of, like, sulfur. So I'm just jumping on here because quite often in our house, we'll get the kind of smell of, like, perfume. We've had the smell of cigarettes kind of waft around the house. Neither of us smoke. Um, we've had the kind of smell of smoke and things like this. Um, but tonight, we've got this really bad smell of, like, really stinking egg. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. Like It's like putrid. Yeah, proper bad. Now, I definitely know it wasn't me. Lainey's claiming it wasn't her. It wasn't me. <laughs> but we just want to know, could this be something paranormal? Is this something paranormal? Like, you guys are the experts in this. We don't really have a clue. So let us know. Is this something, is this something common in haunted houses? And then, over the next year, the activity progressed step by step. Lainey, Lainey. What? Can you hear that? I thought that was you. No? I thought that was you in the kitchen. No? Oh, that was weird. David, man, I'm actually getting pretty sick of your shit, you know? Like, the amount of no- King Christ. Oh, fuck's sakes, man. No, shut the fuck up. Can you repeat this? Oh. oh fuck! <laughs> it's now been a year since then, and the good news is Lainey and Ben have now had a baby. The bad news is the paranormal activity is still strong. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Fucking the door's banging. Get the camera with me. It's on a massive fucking tripod. Oh my lord. The house is a shithole as well, Lane. It's gonna kill me for showing. When you're moving, we are moving in. Did you hear it? Did you? 
Did you hear that? It sounded like the chair. Did you hear that? It sounded like the chair moving on the floor. Let me see. And then from February this year, the paranormal activity started to get more aggressive. The spirits in Lanny and Ben's home have now become so strong and aggressive over the last few months that even dinner time is now prone to activity. So me and Lainey, we were just eating our dinner. And um, this glass right here, came flying out of my hand, made a mess on the floor, and has absolutely ruined dinner. And can I just say, Ben didn't drop it. No, you you claimed I dropped it. I thought you did. Well, hopefully the camera up there might have picked up what happened. I'm hoping it did, because I'm telling you right now, it was pulled from my hand. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, bless them. <laughs> yeah, it thought he was up and down. What did you do? What was that? What was that? No. What I didn't drop it. It literally, it was pulled out of my hand. Shit. Like, the floor, right? There was a hole. Same. Literally. Right. I was trying. Oh, bless them. <laughs> Yeah, it was just thought he was just like up and down. What did So we've caught up to the present day. I know it was a bit of a long one, but I wanted to show you the situation from the beginning to the present day. As you may know, baby Apollo is now about one year old and he's starting to walk and talk. And even more worrying, they've seen him on a few occasions talking to someone or staring off into the distance. So Lenny and Ben have decided after almost three years to pack up and move home. Well, so what do you think? This is one of those rare channels where I don't think we need to vote whether the paranormal activity is real or fake because there's just so much activity and footage. Not to mention, they've invited psychics and mediums into their home. We've now come round full circle with Lainey and Ben with baby Apollo. Who knows what the future holds for this young, lovable family. I didn't include all the videos because there were just too far many and I didn't have the time. But if you want to watch the story from the beginning, just jump over to their TikTok account or YouTube channel. The name's on the screen. And don't forget, when you get there, tell them that Things Mysterious sent you. Thank you. The next video we're analyzing comes from a YouTube channel called Flying Alucha. The creator and the owner of the channel is a young man called Nathan from the UK. Nathan has published over 460 odd videos ranging from all manner of topics from anime and games 
shopping and comedy movies, in tech and blogging. In amongst all these videos, there is one video that stands out. And this one is the five and a half minute video that we're going to analyze today. The reason I've chosen this video is because it's different from all the other videos. The video is set in his grandmother's house and it has paranormal elements to it. And since the shooting of this video, sadly, Nathan's grandmother has passed away peacefully in her sleep. Nathan always knew that there was some paranormal activity in his grandmother's house, but he was always too scared to stay. But this year was different. You see, Nathan is now getting older and his grandmother was ill. So it was stayed over for a longer periods of time. So this evening, three years ago, a few days before Christmas, Nathan decided to start recording. And this is what he caught. Watch. It's quite that moment. You don't really see anything. What the hell was that? Jeez, someone just moved it. Still a bang. Jeez. Look, you can see it's his lights. You can see there's nothing on it. God, it must have been heavy to be able to move that. I don't want to put it back in case it drops again. It was just up there and it literally fell. Shut up, stupid. See, she don't believe me. Oh, God. Weird. Nanny, did you see that? What? The card just fell. What card? That one, that one there. No, I didn't see it fall. Yeah, because you haven't been I watching. Get, get the, the so she just ignores it. She thinks there's nothing going on. Like this is the time to play a bit of Nathan. This is, a, this is supposed to be a party tonight. Oh, I don't remember that moving. Oh, I don't remember that moving. Who's it? Oh, freaking heck. Did you see that? No. Stupid games. Stupid games. Stupid. Stop it, Nathan. Stop. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing anything. I told you I'm not doing anything. You're not funny. You're no, not I'm not funny. funny. Funny at all. My cards have got to put up. Jesus Christ.
understand. Man, you sure you didn't, you didn't Shut say up, that? Nathan. Shut up, don't talk to me about it. I don't, I don't want to know about it. I'm not interested. She gets scared about these things. Mm -hmm. I, I told her I didn't want to. My uncle's just gone out, but it's just me and my nan. Well, I said something was going on, didn't I? As he points the camera on a crucifix, amazingly it moves. He shows there are no strings attached to it, and then it moves again, which scares him a little bit. Now, it really takes a lot for Brits to lose their composure. They're usually very cool, calm, and collected, which is why sometimes this video can look a little bit fake. But I've watched it over and over again, and I can't find any funny business, which is why I need your help in deciding. The only other person in the video is his late grandmother, who is in the living room, busy with herself and her knickknacks. Nathan joins his grand in the living room and scans all around. Just then, about four feet away from him, on top of the shelf, a Santa Claus figure either falls, was pushed, either way, it falls to the ground and Nathan's grand to ask about it. Nathan explains that Santa fell off his shelf and his grand looks at him in shock. What the hell? What's that? Santa fell. For some reason, Nathan's grandmother tells him to shut up and calls him stupid. This happens a couple of more times in the clip, and she chooses to ignore the activity that's happening all around her. Another reason why Nathan never addressed the issue of the paranormal before was because his grandmother didn't believe him, and when something happened right in front of her, she still chose to ignore it. Nathan continues to scan the room from side to side, and then just a Christmas card falls off the piano. The card is at least five feet away, and we won't hear any wind blowing or breath to make it fall. He even takes a few steps back, which in my opinion is the correct response and makes it look all the more genuine. Once again, he asks his nan if she saw it, and yes, he guessed it. Once again, she ignores it. Either she's scared of the paranormal, or she didn't want to admit it, or she thinks Nathan was lying. Which one do you think it was? It's hard to tell from his angle because it does look real, but I'll let you decide. Just after Nathan's grandmother tells him off and tells him it's not funny, something happens, which for me is a game changer. You see, as he's arguing with his grandmother, a photograph of a child falls off the perch. But it's the way it falls off that caught my eye. My cards got put up. You see, the photo doesn't just fall. It spins before landing on the ground. And look at the angle of the camera. If there was a string attached, he would have been standing right in front of it to pull it. Not to mention that, as Grant would probably tell him off, do you think this video is real or do you think Nathan's pulling our leg? Don't forget, this is the only video like this on this channel. So include that in your decision if you want to analyze the video further. Jump over to his YouTube channel. It's called Flying or Lucha. But don't forget, when you get there in the comments, Tell them things mysterious sent you. Thank you. Every now and then a story comes around and sticks in our heads and hearts and gives us the real meaning of the word terror. In this next scene, all of the above and more. I'm talking about the haunting of Dino Nugget, seven for one. And this is as long awaited update this last time we heard from Dino Nuggets, also known as JB. He had moved from his house we all watched for months and months on all our TVs, laptops, and phones to another new build far away in the desert of Colorado. Are in there. Forest. 
If you want me now, man, take me. I'm leaving. I'm tired of this shit. Let's have it out, man. I'm leaving. Just let me get my shit and go.
Hello? Is coming from up here. I bought everything new, guys. Nothing in this house except some fucking paintings. This is how it starts, everybody. Everybody told me to move, I did. Any cursed items, I got rid of everything. Great advice, you two. Hello? Hello? No, 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 no. Hello? Get this one. 
Oh, what the fuck? Closed. you want from me for the love of God leave my house leave me alone I want to thank you for watching things mysterious I'll catch you on the next episode and remember do sleep cozy, sleep cozy.